And I'm joined now by one of the first miners who got out early this morning. Henry Bertrand is back home in Sudbury, Ontario. Henry, good morning. How does it feel to be back home? Well, I'm glad to be back home on surface, that's for sure. I so bet. Well <laughs> How did you pass the time? Well, I was uh, with a few good guys there, so we just made jokes and talked about uh, all kinds of different things just to pass the time. You know, we got to know each other and just whatever it took to get by. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of togetherness. Did you have anything yeah. to eat down there? Well, fortunately, I had brought a lunch down, but uh, the other three that I was with, uh, the shaft crew, they were just supposed to be down for a little bit, then go back up for lunch, so their lunch was on surface. So I had stuff, so we just shared that for a bit, and then uh, finally uh, Mine Rescue made it down, and uh, they brought us uh, some uh, granola bars and chocolate bars and stuff until we can get us uh, something different. But uh, it, was, it was not bad. Henry, most of us don't know what it's like inside a mine, and we might picture it being like a dark cave. Um, can you describe what it's like that far underground? Well, in today's technology and everything, it's it's lit up. It, there's good ventilation. It's it's pretty safe. I mean, uh, of course, there's accidents like this that happen and unforeseen, but uh, for the most part, it's very safe down there. There's uh, the safety we have implemented now, and uh, the rules and regulations we find uh, we follow are they're pretty strict, and it's for a reason it's to keep us safe. And I, I feel more than safe every day I go down there. I guess you can't be claustrophobic to even work in a mine, so that wasn't an issue? No, not at all. I mean, I think just the cage part to go down, if somebody's claustrophobic, would probably affect them a little bit, but once you're down there, it's pretty big. And, <clears throat> and can you take us back, Henry, to that moment on Sunday when you knew there was a problem? <laughs> well, we didn't know how serious it was, so... Uh, at the mine, they give us an all stations when something happens in the mine. So all the miners go to a, a refuge station where we have water and we have a phone that we could call up or whatever and find out. So usually we just sit still and wait to hear from uh, control room. They let us know what's going on. And But uh, we didn't think it was going to be that long. But once we found out, we just hunkered down and made the best of it. And everyone stayed calm? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, we had a good morale. And like I said, I was with a... Uh, with three other guys and we just, like I said, we just cracked jokes and kept busy and passed the time, had a nap here and there, best we can. All right, and, and we need to know about the process of getting up, getting out rather. What was it like going up that ladder and how long did it take? Well, it took uh, us, uh, the four of us, luckily we were only on 1850, the other guys were down at uh, 31. But uh, for us, it took us uh, two hours and 15 minutes, I think, to come up with uh, like a few breaks along the way because it is a long haul going up. So the first part of it, every 20 feet, there's a landing. We could stop and rest, catch our breath. And then the other section, every 100 feet, there's a landing. We could stop. But uh, halfway up, we stop at, uh, at the 1250 level, which where there's another refuge and there was more uh, rescue workers there which I want to say uh, Ontario Mine Rescue and Valley, them guys are unbelievable up and down those ladders, hauling all that gear for us. And oh, that was incredible what they do, man. It was unreal. Them guys are in shape. <laughs> I was going to ask about that. Two hours of climbing up a ladder. Wow. you yeah, you got to be reassessing your fitness level at that point. Yeah. And these guys were going up, and some of them went up and down, and it was unreal what they were doing. Like, uh, I'm so I'm so grateful for them. They brought us down subs and stuff like that. And some guys needed their medication, so their wives brought that into the mine, and they got it down to us and made sure we had everything we needed. And they took very good care of us. It took long to get out because they got to come up with a safety plan and make sure everybody's safe coming out. Because some, some people aren't as fit as others, so they need assistance to come up, and they will need assistance because it's, uh, it's a tough go. The second journey up the last 600 feet is uh, pretty wet and it's uh, my arms are tired and my legs are tired. <laughs> I bet, I bet. And, and will you think twice at all about going back to work? I don't know when you're returning, but what impact did this experience have on you? 
for me, that's not that bad. No, I, I'll go back. I'd go back tomorrow if I could. But I think that this mine will be closed down for a little bit. So they're going to relocate me to a different mine and just uh, work as usual. For me, then it's, I'm good. Yeah, Henry, we're so glad you are, and we're watching the rescue like you are, uh, following along to make sure that everyone gets out safely. Thank you so much, and we're glad that you're home safe and sound. Well, thank you.